everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 1024 and its whole power n equals to 1 over n and we will solve this problem for the values of n so uh, here the very first thing we will uh, use here or we get first the prime factors of 1024 so now we will easily get uh, the prime factors of 1024 as so here you have 1024 so now we divide this 1024 by 2 and you will get here 2 5s are 10 and 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4 so we again divide it by 2 and you will get here 2 2s are 4 and carry 1 and 2 5s are 10 and again carry 1 and 2 6s are 12 so we again divide it by 2 and you get 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 and we carry 1 and 2 8s are 16 and we have 2 6 are 12 and 2 4s are 8 so we again divide it by 2 and you will get here 2 3 is a 6 2 2 is a 4 we divide it by again 2 2 1 is a 2 2 6 is a 12 and 2 8 is a 16 and 2 4 is a 8 and 2 2 is a 4 and 2 1 is a 2 so here i can uh, write the prime factors of 1024 as it is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times of 2. So here I can write it as 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2 and 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2 times of 2. So here we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So 10 to the power of 24 equals to 10 times of 2. So now here I can write uh, these uh, five uh, pairs of two and similarly these five pairs of two. So now I can uh, uh, I can just write uh, it as two times of uh, two times of five multiplied by two times of five. Okay, so it is two times of ten because these all pairs are two times of ten. So that we can, we will break this 2 times of 10 as 2 times of 5 into 2 times of 5. And you know that 2 times of 5 equals to 32 and similarly 2 times of 5 equals to 32. So we will write this 1024 as 32 and its whole power 32. Because when you open 32 to the power of 32 you will easily get 1024. And now we will just substitute here this 1024 by 30, 32 and its whole power 32. So that I can name this equation number 1 and here I can uh, just write equation number 1 becomes. And uh, so here I, we have equation number 1, 1024 and we will just replace 1024 by 32 and its whole power 32. So it will be looks like in this form 32 and its whole power 32 and whole power n and it is equals to 1 over n. So now uh, here uh, we uh, remove this exponent n so that we will just take both of the sides by uh, its power 1 over n or you uh, can just say in other words we will take the nth roots on both of the sides. So we will write it as 32 and its whole power 32 and its whole power n and I can just take the nth root on both of the sides and we will write it as 1 over n and its whole power 1 over n. So uh, after this step we will uh, need here to use the important fact about uh, the nested exponents. Uh, so I can first uh, explain little bit about this fact. So if you have x to the power of x equals to n to the power of n or you I can just write uh, n other than b. So you have b to the power of b and if you just check that if our b is less than or equals to 1 then uh, sorry is our b is greater than or equals to 1 
then we will write this expression as x equals to b so now uh, if you you will focus on uh, uh, our problem and you will see here uh, first I can a uh, little bit simplified here and after simplification we will use here this important fact so here we have this n and n are gone by each other and we will obtain its left hand side be 32 and its whole power 32 equals to in the right hand side we have 1 over n and its whole power 1 over n so now uh, we will uh, use here this nice fact because if you can focus on both of the sides so you have the base and exponent are same and similarly here you have the base and exponents are same and over this b is greater than 1 because it is 32 so it is greater than 1 so we will use here this nice important fact and um, this will be implies that 1 over n equals to 32 so here we will just take the reciprocal on both of the sides and we will easily get the value of n which is equals to 1 over 32 so this is the our final conclusion of this problem and now we will check uh, our value of n is this value of n satisfies the given question statement or not so now in order to check I can just uh, write the given statement here 1024 and its whole power n equals to 1 over n and now we can put the value of n on both of the sides and here you see that uh, 1024 uh, it is equals to 32 and its whole power 32 and we will put the value of n which is 1 over 32 and similarly it is equals to 1 over and 1 over 32 so here you see that this 32 and 32 are are uh, gone and you will write here 32 equals to so this 32 will be reciprocal here and you get 32 so here you see that both of the sides are equal so this shows that n equals to 1 over 32 satisfy the given question statement so n equals to 32 1 over 32 be the only solution of this problem and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos